Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we are going to try and answer the question about Ehlers Danlos syndrome and diving. And don't worry, if you haven't heard about it, it's actually fairly rare. And we want to tell you some more about it, and of course, to the diver who asked the question. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver about whether or not hypermobility syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome might be potentially problematic with diving. Now, it's only one of several collagen-related disorders that results in hypermobility. People who have Ehlers-Danlos are able to, for instance, move their shoulders closer together because the clavicles are actually quite bendy or they can bend their wrists backwards, etc., etc. Now, just think for yourself, if an individual is now going to be carrying heavy equipment, go on a bumpy boat ride, and then ultimately be exposed to a number of pressures that would exert additional force on their skeletal frame or skeletal frame, and potentially therefore lead to hyperextension of their joints, it might actually cause an injury. And I personally know of an individual who simply went surfing or in fact playing in the waves, not even surfing. And a wave struck the individual and because the Ehlers-Danlos syndrome had actually weakened the collagen surrounding the blood vessels, they developed a bleed in one of their vertebral arteries and developed a stroke and very nearly died. So, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is not a blanket yes, but I also wouldn't want to call it an absolute no. The same is true for Marfan Syndrome, which is a slightly different condition, but also is known for hypermobility. In that case, I had an individual who I declared fit for diving, who not only developed a problem related to lung overpressure, and we discovered a bleb in the lung as a result of the collagen deficiency from which they fortunately recovered. But it has made me very cautious to give a blanket yes or even a conditional yes to diving with the condition. So my advice to you would be to go to a knowledgeable diving physician and someone familiar with collagen and uh, connective tissue disorders or conditions such as a rheumatologist and ask them whether your version of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome might pose a problem for you because there are different kinds of Ehlers-Danlos Ehlers syndrome and they may or may not pose a problem to you. But you need to think it through and that means all aspects of the scuba dive which means the preparation, the dive itself, the time after the dive, and of course, getting your way safely back to wherever you're staying after the dive. So, be sensible and be wise, and until next time, safe diving.